A key element of Entwined Histories is enabling young people to get to know and make friends with peers who perhaps have a different understanding of these periods of history. In line with the decade of centenaries, the objective of the Entwined Histories project is to promote a common understanding of past events in our shared history, uh, challenging myths and increasing appreciation for different perspectives, and to explore how past events continue to influence uh, attitudes and behaviours today. So Entwined Histories provides opportunities for young people to uh, develop a greater understanding of the complexity of Irish history and to develop a greater understanding of how the past continues to influence current attitudes, opinions uh, and of course behaviours. And now the project would not be possible without the valued support uh, from the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Uh, the programme has followed the major events uh, in the decade of centenaries. These events 100 years ago contributed significantly to shaping politics and society in Ireland. We have looked at events uh, such as the signing of the Ulster Covenant in September 1912, uh, the Dublin lockout in 1913, uh, the outbreak of the First World War in 1914, the Easter Rising in 1916, Battle of the Somme in 1916, uh, the armistice and the end of the First World War in November 1918, the representation of the People Act and the general election of December 1918. Uh, and more recently, we've looked at the Irish War of Independence 1919 to 1921 and the partition of Ireland and the signing of the Anglo-Irish Treaty in 1921. As you'll appreciate, many of these events have contested narratives, but rather than being weighed down by the complexities of competing narratives, we see learning about these events as an opportunity for our young people to develop a better understanding of the past and begin to explore the common ground, uh, which can help build positive friendships uh, and respect uh, among their peers. Uh, Cooperation Ireland believes that learning about the decade of centenaries, including this important year of, of 1921 and uh, the centenary of 1921 and partition in Ireland, uh, can provide a space in which to promote discussion and respect for both political and cultural difference. Uh, we know that uh, dialogue and engaging in constructive conversation is the best way to help our young people uh, overcome difference. Uh, and division. Our approach to engaging um, with the centenaries run alongside the Community Relations Council and Heritage Lottery Fund principles uh, for commemoration. And we start uh, from the historical facts uh, and seek to recognise the implications and consequences of what happened. We emphasise to our participants uh, that different perceptions and interpretations do exist uh, and are committed to showing how events and activities uh, can deepen our understanding of the period. Uh, our approach is inclusive, making sure we do not ignore the differences, uh, but acknowledge and understand them with respect to differing uh, traditions. Entwined Histories is about encouraging understanding of multiple narratives in a spirit of cooperation, tolerance, and above all, respect. Uh, working together uh, to, to better understand our past can be a powerful tool in bringing people together in the present. Uh, we have found that uh, creative multimedia provides the best means uh, by which to explore uh, and represent contentious issues and conflicted histories. Uh, so collaboration with partner organisations has been central in allowing us to provide this creative uh, and learning environment for the young people on our programme. Over the years, our creative partners have included Cinemagic, uh, the actor Dan Gordon, uh, Music Theatre for Youth, Belfast Exposed, the Living Legacies 1914 to 1918 Research Centre at Queen's University Belfast and Nerve Centre, who have worked very closely with us over the past number of Entwined Histories projects. Uh, from the uh, early projects of exploring the signing of the Ulster Covenant and the story of the shipyard, um, exploring the heritage of shipbuilding in Belfast to the causes and consequences of the Dublin lockout, 
uh, and the educational workshops on shaping our identity, Entwined Histories has helped young people to develop a better understanding of the past and how its impact can still be felt uh, today. Uh, we have used drama as a tool to engage young people in our projects uh, over the past number of years. Um, and we've worked alongside um, mentors to help uh, motivate and encourage participation uh, in our project. Uh, for the first nine projects, uh, we recruited between 80 and 90 participants uh, from between four to six schools uh, or youth clubs. Uh, our young people represent a diverse mix in terms of social, political, religious and economic backgrounds and they work together in groups of approximately 20 uh, to produce their final showcase pieces. Uh, last year we extended the uh, project Cross Border and worked alongside four schools from the Dundalk and Drogheda areas in County Louth. Uh, the number of participants rose to 160 uh, and eight schools were paired together, uh, one from each side of the border. Uh, for us, moving cross border was an important step in the progression of Entwined Histories. And by all accounts, it was a great experience bringing the young people together to learn about and interpret the years 1919 and 1920. The project was unfortunately hit uh, by the pandemic and the irony was not lost on staff and students alike, as one of the topics we learned and explored was the Spanish influenza and in particular its impact uh, on young people. Little did the young people know or indeed ourselves think that we'd be facing our own pandemic in, in 2020. I'll now share a few slides which detail how the project looks in terms of activities and interaction between the young people. So we have um, in the most recent Entwined Histories, Entwined Histories 10, which was about the Irish War of Independence, uh, we uh, hosted a teacher training day. So we brought teachers from the project uh, from all eight of our schools uh, together to go through the content and um, tell them a wee bit about what our plans were for our, our workshops and, and, and the development of, of the project. And it was a really beneficial day in terms of hearing what the teachers thought uh, whether well, they thought the material and what we were bringing uh, was going to be appropriate uh, and understandable uh, to the students uh, and a really productive day as well. So I got them to do one of our, our, our tasks, which we'll talk a little bit about later on there. So teacher training day, really important to try and get uh, the teacher's input and in making sure that they were on board uh, and they bought into what we wanted to achieve on, on the project. First workshop where we bring our students together, we, we worked in two cluster groups. So we had four schools in our first cluster, four schools in our second. And the first workshop we, we met in Belfast and we brought the students together, about 80 students. And we did a couple of icebreakers just to try and try and get them, I suppose, to mix for the very first time, uh, just in a very informal, uh, in a social way. Uh, but for the first workshop, we always keep our, our schools within their own student groups um, so they feel a bit more comfortable uh, when they're going through the content and when they're doing their, their, their challenges that they're set after each session. Uh, it's during the second workshop or, or the script development day where the students will mix for the very first time uh, and both partner schools will work uh, alongside each other. So uh, as I said last year, our, our, our topic was the Irish War of independence and February 2020 seems a long, long time ago. Um, just to run through some of our, our aims of entwined histories. Uh, so we want to understand the significant events um, in Ireland leading to partition in 1921, including their political and their social impact. We're understanding the, the key terms around partition in Ireland and the events leading up to it. We want to, to give our students, uh, our young people, an opportunity to discuss these significant events in Ireland at the time and to form our own opinions about them. Uh, and then finally, really important, of course, to mix, for young people to mix as a group, to work creatively and to explore why these events leading to partition in Ireland are still relevant for us in 2020 and beyond, of course. Our goal for, for our project last year uh, was that we wanted our young participants to say we know what that term partition means in relation to Ireland and we know the events which led to partition. Uh, we wanted our young people to know 
uh, about partition, you can talk about partition in Ireland with a lot of people and can explain their own viewpoint. We wanted them to see how different groups uh, and different people can see uh, and feel very much diff differently about things. Uh, we wanted, of course, to under them to understand why the events leading to partition are still relevant today. And uh, the tagline there at the end was, you know, partition has created a border in Ireland, which is still regularly in the news uh, to this very day, of course. And then finally, really important, it's so important, we've got the history side, we understand why the past can mean something, it's still important. But we want young people to feel more confident in meeting and working with, with new people. And indeed, that is something uh, which Cooperation Ireland uh, wants to set as, 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 a, as a target, as a goal, uh, to get more of our young people uh, mixing together as well. What young people expect on the programme, we have a, a number of workshops, we have a script development day uh, where they're able to um, work alongside Nerve Centre in putting together a script as they interpret the history that they've studied together. The residential is really important, I'll, I'll highlight a couple of photographs uh, later on, and it really gels the students together where they, where they spend a couple of days together in each other's company and they do make good friendships uh, as they explore their historical topic together. And then of course to finish off a showcase and a conference event which, which sort of brings the learning together each of our student uh, groups can, can present and they show and they premiere uh, their short film as well. What we expect from our students uh, as, as we uh, meet them for the very first time, we, we encourage them to get involved in the project uh, from the word go. We want to see them in you know, good teamwork, working together, uh, getting on with one another. We want them to be respectful, of course, really important. And uh, they respect people they're meeting for the very first time. And a really important one, uh, of course, is, is for them to enjoy it to have fun, enjoy the experience of working together. And of course, really important, uh, if you have any questions, do not be afraid to ask. We always encourage that from day one. If the students aren't sure of what's happening or not sure of what's going on, uh, to have their voice, to find their voice uh, and, and never be afraid to ask. A little overview then of our um, program. This is our workshop one. Uh, so last year we were looking at Ireland in 1919, the aftermath of the First World War, but the beginning of a new war, the War of Independence. So we looked at key th uh, key themes, uh, key terms as well. Um, we looked at the War of Independence, W5, who, what, where, when, why. Uh, and we got the students to think a little bit about uh, what was going on during the course of the uh, War of Independence. And then the third part was the afternoon session. We looked at the Government of Ireland Act 1920, an, an answer, sorry, to the Irish question and uh, we got them to think a little bit about uh, the Government of Ireland Act, was it going to solve all the problems, we got them to work in their groups and they made presentations at the end as well and then the last little point there just looking at uh, the reflection or evaluation what they got out of the session. So a couple of photographs there, this is uh, from workshop one last year uh, and they're working together within their own student groups, their school groups at the moment uh, but it's just to get them more comfortable and, and, and maybe you know learning about the topic for the very first time uh, on workshop one. Uh, by the end of the day, of course, they were up and they were presenting together uh, and they were presenting what they looked at um, with our topics in the war of the Irish War of Independence. At the end of the day, of course, they were on the reflection and evaluation. So we got them to come up with post-it notes and say what they learned and then things were maybe a little bit unsure about. And we were able to take that away after workshop one and, and, and concentrate more what we want to give them, what we want to try and explain better for them going forward uh, in the project. And the photograph of the group that's, that's cluster one at the end of, of workshop one. Script development day is really important. This is the first time the students mix together and we took them down to um, Dundalk Racecourse um, to, uh, to meet for the very first time and, and start mixing in their groups. Uh, I was here, they worked alongside Nerve Centre to develop a script interpreting their part uh, of, of uh, our project. Really important day, so it was for them to, to start to meet new people as well. Um, building on those friendships that they, that they developed maybe during the script development day, a week later they went on residential and we took them to County Down, took them to, to Newcastle and uh, Green Hill and they were able to record uh, their, their short films together. And so this is a still image of, of one of the sort of filming. And it's brilliant that the students have such an opportunity, maybe those who are maybe a bit camera shy, who don't want to be standing in front of a camera, can work in behind the scenes 
and there's a rule for everyone and it is it's just a great time where they can build friendships and there's a bit of downtime where they can uh, they can they can play together they can um, uh, get to know each other a bit better uh, and of course in, in, enjoy some of the adventures you can see in the back of that a photograph the climbing frame which i was not a big fan of um residential really important as i say by the end of it uh, the sort of obligatory photograph of everyone uh, at the end of the residential and really important good friendships built and a lot of fun had uh, while the students were away on residential our showcase event this is uh, where we premiere the videos and uh, the students make a presentation and this is from a couple of years ago um, where we, uh, we brought our students together when we could of course in person uh, and we premiered the videos that the, uh, the films short films that our students have made um, and we have a, a keynote speaker of course to, to talk a little bit about um, the significance of the events of the, the, the topics the students have studied, but where, where do they lie today in the present day, and why are they still important, why are they still relevant uh, for us as well. Uh, to conclude, in our latest Entwined Histories project, we asked uh, our young people to match key terms uh, to their meanings. Uh, we looked at uh, a lot of terms uh, and events which uh, they might have heard of before, uh, but perhaps were unsure of their meaning. For the key term of entwined histories, uh, we explained the meaning as the following. Shining a light on both narratives of the past in Ireland in order to help educate and give a better understanding of both our shared history and our differences. Cooperation Ireland seeks to approach the centenary of the creation of Northern Ireland in ways which are reflective of the range of historical issues involved and to ensure that the opportunity is taken to extend a sympathetic understanding of the complex story that has unfolded. And we hope to continue these opportunities in the coming months with the young people on the Entwined Histories Project as we engage creatively on the study and learning of 1921. Uh, thanks so much for listening. Uh, please do get in touch if you have any questions or you would like to know more about the Entwined Issues Project and engaging with young people on the centenary.